Hello, my name is Grant McNary. I'm with bushelandabasket.com and what I want to talk to you today about is maintaining your strawberries. Four weeks ago we put this strawberry field in, brand new. It's a community strawberry field and not everybody has to come out and weed it like they need to. So I'm going to go over the maintenance process. Yesterday we came through, this is one of our rows, went all the way down and weeded it. It's uh, 70 feet long and it only took us about a half an hour to do. Today we're going to do the next row which is right here next to me. Again it's 70 feet and you can see just in two or three weeks how much the weeds can grow. Now if you come over here I'll show you a couple other things uh, where people have been taking care of the rows and haven't been taking care of the rows. We've got a family out here that is staying on top of the uh, strawberries. Very few weeds. The good thing about that is obviously when you take care of the weeds and get them out it's a lot easier and they're not as evasive. On this row here somebody elected to put some uh, drop cover and because of that, they don't really have to deal with much of the, uh, the weeds coming up. They look pretty healthy, as you can see. And again, these are uh, planted about four weeks ago. And then here's the effects if you don't take care of your weeds in your garden. This Canadian thistle right here, which is really aggressive and evasive here in the state of Washington, is starting to take over the strawberry plants and they're really stickery and uh, they're not really pleasant to work around so whoever's supposed to take care of this row as you can see has not touched it and if they don't uh, this whole row will go to waste uh, they probably won't even do it there's also uh, over here if you'll follow me we've got another advancement plant and this is called horsetail now I don't know if maybe some of you people have it in your area and it's in a real evasive uh, plant as well and the only way to take it out is to continue to pull it and slowly get it out of your garden. One other thing you might want to do is when it comes to watering if you take and dig and you go down into the soil if you can squeeze it and it holds together like that, you got ample water. So we actually watered that yesterday, so that's why it looks good here. Then we're going to go over to this one. You can see how dry the soil is up on the top. I went down uh, probably four inches, three to four inches to get to this. Still got quite a bit of moisture in it, but they're going to have to come out and water this. If not, uh, it's going to be hard on the plants. The roots need to really uh, to get established on these. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one plant up, show you what the roots look like after four weeks. So there wasn't much to it, but you can see right here, we've got roots coming out here. We've got some roots in here. Roots right there. If we take the clumps out, you'll see a nice set of roots coming through here. So this plant is really getting established nice. So make sure you uh, get all your weeds out as much as possible, as often as possible. It'll be a lot easier for you. And make sure you uh, keep water on it. Um, other than that, that's really all you need to do to maintain it. If you have any other questions, feel free to go to bushelandabasket.com. I'm Grant McNary, helping you grow fruits and vegetables naturally.